Hey everyone, I am coming off of the video I just filmed um, how to do the hair look that I have now. And as you can see, it's a few hours later and it's already kind of fallen down because I haven't, I didn't really hairspray or anything. But also because I, after I filmed that video, went to a PTA executive board meeting and I did a lot of this. So, I probably ran my fingers right through my curl because when I get annoyed and or bored or a combination, I play with my hair and both things happen, so yeah. But anyway, I just want to do a quick outfit of the day and my much anticipated, wink wink, uh, closet tour. I hope that it's helpful. I see a lot. I love seeing how everyone organizes their stuff. I, I, I love it. And, um... I want you to see how I do it, which doesn't involve a major investment um, with California Closets or the Container Store. Although I'm not saying that I won't at some point do that. I really, 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 really want to redo my closet, as you'll see in a minute. But anyway, um, real quick, makeup I have on today is the same exact makeup that I had on in my 2000 subscribers contest, except I keep changing my lipstick. I don't even know what I have on right now. I just grabbed something. I put on something, so I didn't scare everybody. Um, I have this weird chain thing um a kid um my youngest son used it in a prop for some costume he had to be hades and this is a wrinkled ellie tahari tank um i'm going to turn this around and show you in the mirror so hang on okay and that's my ever present um fresca love fresca okay so this is I don't know, i'm going to get real close to the mirror it's this it's got this great detail that's cute. Um, it's kind of fuzzy, not fuzzy, it's like tulle almost that's been ripped and attached to the collar. So it's just not, it's should have been ironed, but it's not. Oh well. And then I got this um, sweater, short sleeve sweater at Target. I can't remember if it was the Bombshell Suite or Bentley Blonde, but one of those cute girls has this in I think like a khaki-ish color. It has this little button detail. It doesn't actually close. No, it does not. But um, so that's that. And then I have, okay, I'll pan down. This is my new favorite watch. Some of you saw the clear one in my other videos. It's the same one, but in black. I got it from Walmart. I have it in tortoiseshell, black, and clear, and they're $9.99 each, and they're at Walmart. I just got this one last weekend, so you can get it. And then I'm wearing my Target skinny jeans, Target brand, not Converse brand, and they have the cute, um, like, rivet detail on the pockets. So, and that's Rookie. Hi, Rookie. He's going to be 14 in a couple weeks. We're very proud of him. Okay, so that's what I have on today. That's what I wore, if you're wondering. That's what I wore to my PTA meeting. I like to look a little um, put together when I go to these things. So that's what I had on. And now let me take you to my closet. So this is my bathroom. That's like the door from my bedroom. That's not like, it is the door from my bedroom. Um, that's my bedroom you see through the doorway. That's the dog bowl. And then you come through this very long, ridiculously long bathroom and you come into my closet. So here we go. So the first thing you may notice, these double doors, and we open the doors. The first thing you may notice are a couple of things. Um, one, I would hope you notice the lovely painted dresser on the left. Um, you may also notice the extremely large dog crate in the middle of the floor. Um, um, I have a very large house, I'll be honest, but it doesn't... Um, have a lot of storage. Like, I have a very tiny laundry room, I have a detached garage, so I can't put the dog crates in there. Even if I did, it gets too hot to leave the dogs locked in the garage. And I don't trust my dogs to not rip apart the house when I'm not home. I can tell you Bosley stories. It makes Marley look like, like a bunny. So, um, Bosley is a one-man wrecking crew, and so when we're not home, the dogs are locked up. And this crate, just to give you an idea, I don't know if you can see me. I don't, I don't have a mirror here, but it's like, um, you know, almost waist high. So the dogs, all three dogs go in there. They bring their bones. Anyway, you're not interested in that, but um, they're not in there for more than a couple, three hours, four hours at most, but um, that's where they live. Okay, so anyway, on this side of the closet is um, my stuff, and then, and then there's a shelf that really, who could put anything up there? I need a ladder. And then there's more of my stuff. Let me back up. 
And then I added, and I'll do this more in detail in a second. And I also added one of those stackable shoe racks. And then there's also a shoe rack, if you can see, underneath for more shoes. And built into the closet, there's a window. And then there's shelves that came with it. They kind of just stop. There they are. Shelves there. And then this is my poor husband's side of the closet. Um, yeah, it's a mess. But that's his stuff. And there's my wedding dress in that big box. So that's the closet. So just real quickly, some tips. Okay, so obviously, as you can see, my closet is humongous. It's really big. So, um, and I don't fold things. As you can see, I hang up everything that I can. I'm not a big folder. And what I do here is my, um, on the lower rack, starting on over here, are like my juicy um, sweatsuit, tracksuit things. And then I divide, these are all my short sleeve stuff. So I do it by color, starting whites and creams, gray, black, brown, purple, blue, green, little, you know, rainbow colors. I don't really have much in the yellow category. And then I get to my tank tops. Yes, I hang my tank tops because I don't like folding. And then some of the pants that I hang and skirts. And then up top, I haven't organized this recently because it hasn't been cold in a very long time. But at the top is my, um, are my long sleeved shirts. That kind of thing. Then on this side is um, dresses. And my Halloween costume is sticking out there, that big red thing. And then there's a basket on the floor. That's where I put my flip-flops. And I also have a little container there for my hangers that I'm not currently using. Just some um, uh, tips on how to organize. This where I have my necklaces on is a tie rack. If you can see it has the hanger. I'm just hanging that on the side of my shoe rack. And then where you would normally hang ties, like I'll show you, like a normal person, like my husband has his ties over there. I stole one of his tie racks, which is why all of his ties are doubled up. And I hung all my necklaces, um, well, most of them anyway, from there. And a leather riding crop. Can you figure out what I'm going to be for Halloween? Maybe this will give you a clue. Yes. Anyway, and then my shoes. Um... They're kind of all higgledy-piggledy, but um, these are like the ones that I wear right now mostly. And then um, there's some dress shoes on the bottom. I have some cool. I love my I love shoes. That's kind of one of my downfalls. And I just wanted to. Oops. I wanted to show you guys these shoes because there's a story behind them. These are. Can you see, let me see. Christian Lacroix. And I was at DSW, and they were in the clearance shoe section for $45, I think, because they didn't recognize the name. They were originally almost $400, and I grabbed them and ran. I mean, I paid for them before I ran out the door, but anyway, so I get my shoes from a variety of places, but a great place to find really good deals on shoes is um, Marshalls. If you haven't already figured that out, I'd say a vast majority of the shoes here were gotten at Marshalls or... Um, these are BCBG. I got these at, uh, Saks off fifth. Um, these are really cute, but I never wear them because they're kind of, they kind of hurt. And they're a little dusty. It's black patent leather. Patent leather is not always the most comfortable choice. Anyway, that's, um, these are still covered in mud from the last football game that I wore them at. I need to fix that. But this brand, this Me Too brand, very cute flats. Very cute and very comfortable. If you work and you're on your feet and you want something stylish, I highly recommend that. And I want to show you these. I know this is turning into a shoe collection video, but as you can see, it kind of dominates my closet. How cool are these? I've never actually worn these out of my house, but maybe once. But I just thought, they're just cool. I think they're baby fat. My husband saw them and bought them, and I get a lot of shoes that way. He likes shoes, too, and sometimes they're normal, and sometimes I'm just not going to walk out of the house in them. But anyway, as we go to this section, I'm just going to lean on the dog crate. That lower uh, on the floor are some of my taller boots, um, which will show up in some Outfit of the Day videos as soon as the weather drops below 80 here. Those are most of my handbags. 
mm, a good portion of them. That's my sweater collection. As you can see, uh, not a lot of sweaters. That's mostly my jean collection. More boots. My cowboy boots. I love my cowboy boots. Love them. They're distressed leather, like bomber jacket, bomber leather jacket. Okay. So then here is my, my dresser. There's my husband. He's going to kill me. That's what my husband looks like. Isn't he cute? And, um, I think I'm running out of time. So really quickly in the top drawer, which is the only thing that I really want to show you, I bought like, these are to sort out like fishing tackle. And I just, this is where I put my earrings. I have them sorted by silver earrings and by gold earrings, a container for bracelets, watches, belts, and then the rest of the drawers are really just like, you know, undergarments and, and some small handbags. Like, this is where I keep my little handbags and, and little makeup cases and stuff like that. So, anyway, um, I think that's pretty much it. I, I, my videos have to be under 15 minutes. That's a YouTube thing. So, I don't want to run out of time. Um, so, thank you for watching. I know it was a little hurried. If the, you want to see anything specifically in more detail, Put it in the comments below and I will do a follow-up. But thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.